makers, thanks for joining me today. Let's get straight on. Measurements for your skirt fabric depend on your preferences. You'll need to get an exact waist measurement and the length you wish your skirt to be from your waist. When you have your waist measurement, times it by two and minus 20 centimeters. So if your waist measures 80 centimeters, you'll need your fabric to be 140 centimeters in width. This measurement includes the seam allowance, so you don't need to add any more for this. For your desired length, measure from your waist to where you want your hem to be. You will add another six centimeters to this measurement for the waistband and the hem. Once you have your measurement, you can cut your rectangle of fabric. For the waistband, I'm using an elastic which measures one and a half centimeters in width. The length of elastic should be your waist measurement minus five centimeters as you want it to stretch a little to fit you well. Now we have our waistband, let's make the casing for the elastic waistband. Fold over the top right side of your fabric by 0.75 centimeters and press with a hot iron. Then fold again by the width measurement of your elastic plus one and a half centimeters so for me it's three centimeters altogether press it again and remember your elastic will be fed through this casing so you just need to double check that it will fit with a little room to spare on either side for movement and stitching Before we sew the waistband, I would suggest pinning it in place just to keep it neat. Where I'm indicating now is where we're going to sew, so the inner edge of the casing that we've made. With a seam allowance of around half a centimetre, sew the entire length of the waistband. Once you've sewn the waistband, it should look like this. The channels at the end of the waistband will be open, ready to feed your elastic through. Next we'll sew the back seam of the skirt. So, with right sides of the fabric facing each other, line up the two raw edges so that your waistband aligns and the bottom of the skirt meets too. Now you can pin this seam together from the bottom edge to the waistband. When you get to the waistband, put two pins just at the bottom of the waistband like this to remind you not to sew the two waistband channels closed. Starting from the bottom edge of the waistband channel but not sewing over it, sew down the whole of the seam with a one centimeter seam allowance. Your project will now look like this. Now for the waistband. Pop a safety pin on one end of the waistband elastic and start to thread it through the casing like this. You can also attach a large safety pin to the other end of the waistband 
to ensure it doesn't get lost in the fabric as you're threading the other end through. When you have both ends of the elastic like this, we need to sew or tie them together. I prefer to sew them and there are two ways to do this. You can overlap the ends of the elastic by about 3cm and either sew a square shape over both layers like this or sew a number of lines widthways. You'll sew back and forth over these lines a number of times to make sure they're strong. This is what I'm going to do. Now the waistband is in place, we'll sew closed the remaining opening where we threaded the elastic through. You should be able to put one end of the fabric over the other and sew back and forth over the band to close it. Your project will now look like this. Next I would suggest butterflying the back seam and pressing with a hot iron. Once you've pressed the back seam you may notice frayed edges. If you like you can use pinking shears to carefully trim the raw edges of the back seam. This is entirely optional. Finally we're going to sew the bottom hem. Starting at the back seam, fold the raw edge over by 0.75cm and again by 1cm so it looks like this. Pin into place on the back seam and then using an iron set all of the folds. Fold all the way around using a hot iron to press as you go. The hem will look like this. I'm going to quickly pin my hem all the way around just to hold it all in place before we sew it. We're very nearly finished now. Let's just sew the hem around a quarter of a centimetre from the inner edge of the hem we made. Your hem should now look like this. And that's it, we're finished. And there you have it, the perfect skirt for spring or summer. Enjoy!